What is going on guys, Carlos here from Everything Tech and in this video we're going to remove the FRP on a Galaxy S9. So just to show you that the Galaxy S9 is locked with the FRP, I can't go any further without putting my email. So the first thing we're going to need to do is find out what firmware is installed on the device. So in order to do that we need to go into recovery mode. This is not to be confused with download mode. Recovery mode is volume up, Bixby button and power button. But in order to get to um, recovery mode we need to go into download mode or like volume down Bixby and power will switch off the phone like a hard reset. Once it's off just volume up, Bixby and power will put it in, that, in recovery mode. Rem remember to remove the power button as soon as you see the logo. So now in recovery mode we can see that I've got a, a G960F which is the Galaxy S9. U2 is the binary. So now let's go uh, and install the combination firmware on this phone and all the links are in the description below. And they are all fast links, but they are handled by uh, Shorty, which is uh, my uh, links handler. So let's put it in download mode with uh, volume down, power button and Bixby button. And as you can see, FRP lock is on, OEM lock is on. So now let's go on the computer and flash the combination firmware. So we go to AP and I've put everything on the desktop in a folder S9 stuff so let's flash the combination firmware and this bit takes a little bit to load uh, I think the combination firmware is now 3 gigabytes compressed comes to about eight 800 megabytes but still quite a large uh, download so it takes a little bit of time to load but just be patient until it loads and then just go ahead and press start I sped up most of these parts of the video because it just takes quite a long time to get this um, this loaded and loaded onto the device so I sped it up so you guys won't have to wait but believe me believe me there's no trickery involved in here and uh, everything is legit so once it's flashed uh, you'll see Galaxy S9 and some pink writing on top left of the display on the top left of the display and you're gonna be able to see factory binary uh, the screen will come up and it will go into a user interface and in the user interface we're gonna enable a couple of things in order to get this uh, FRP removed so we'll go to apps on the top go to settings and we're gonna go right down the bottom to system now go to about emulated device and build number and click a few times in build number until, until uh, developer mode is enabled once it's enabled go back developer options are enabled now and we're going to turn on OEM unlocking and enable and then go down and just make sure that uh, your USB debugging is on so turn it off and back on at least I do it you don't have to do it if it's on then just leave it as it is now we need to go back and reset the device so the OEM unlocking settings can be enabled so go to reset erase erase everything and the device will put back into the factory binary uh, once it does that uh, we can just turn the phone off and put it back in download mode because now we're going to flash the uh, latest firmware which is I think for the BTU which is UK is S2 the firmware on the device currently is U2 but U2 and S2 they flash together what you can't do is flash U2 on, on a U1 device or U1 device on a U2 firmware so let's put it in download mode now so it's volume down Bixby button and power button and that should put it onto this warning screen and then when the warning screen comes up uh, you might need to release the buttons once if you see the battery uh, logo wait for it to finish and then press once again on all the buttons and then press up continue to go into download mode so now let's flash the official firmware for the device the latest one so let's go into BL and load the BL part like I said the links are in the description the AP part and let's load the AP part this part takes quite a long time to do 
so I sped up this little bit here while it's loading so you don't have to wait and then we're gonna load the CP which is the modem and the CSC instead of loading CSC we're gonna load up home home CSC once it's all loaded up just press start and wait for the process to finish this process takes quite a bit of time so again I sped up most of this video or most of these parts where it's loading because it's just such a long time the video would be 45 minutes easily so once it finishes flashing the firmware on the device uh, you'll see the logo no more pink writing on the top and um, you'll see this installation erasing screen with a little Android and the phone will be boot again and now we will go to the lock screen but sometimes it gets stuck halfway through so if it does get stuck like it did for me all you need to do is pick it up pick it back up again press the power button volume down and Bixby button to just hard reset it sort of thing so you can go back onto uh, onto uh, the reboot screen sort of thing and um, uh, afterwards quickly move your finger to the up button so we can go back into recovery mode what we need is recovery mode so volume down Bixby and power any when you see the dark screen just uh, if you your phone is plugged in just wait for the battery indicator to show how much percentage uh, is on your phone or on your battery and then uh, press volume up Bixby and power and that should take you into the blue screen with the Android logo. Do remember to remove the power button before you, um, before the phone starts. And now we're gonna go and wipe data factory reset. Press the power button to select, and then press down again on a volume down button, and then power button again to select. And then all you need to do is press the power button once again to reboot the phone and that should be it that should take you all the way to the home screen and to your setup screen and there will be no you no need for a google account or anything like that you can put your own details but there's one more step that we need to do in order to get this done properly because we've enabled OEM unlocking the phone will not lock again even if you try to put your google account FRP will not lock again so the device is pretty much unprotected so in order to get the FRP enabled again we need to disable um, uh, OEM unlocking so uh, wait for the device to get onto the home screen again I sped up most of these parts in here because it's the loading is a, a very very long time and uh, we're gonna go and do the same thing we're gonna go and go through all of the setup process you can either connect to Wi-Fi or if you don't want to connect to Wi-Fi you can just skip all of that and as you can see on the bottom uh, emergency call and accessibility are now on uh, so I've put in my password for my Wi-Fi you don't have to do it but I did it and then just accept the terms and conditions uh, you'll be checking for updates and setting up um, and you take a little bit of time this this uh, step here I just sk skipped all of it just keep skipping all of the way to the end this is no time to set up the phone because you're gonna to need to reset it once again so keep on skipping the phone all of the options on the phone uh, don't install anything this is just gonna give you more headache and take more time uh, adding the finishing touches takes a little bit of time to go through and uh, once that is done your phone should be all set up and now we're gonna go and enable OEM unlocking or sorry disable OEM unlocking in order to get um, in order to get the phone to lock again if you put your Google account and not to be unprotected because if you don't do this uh, if you put your Google account uh, it will just not lock to FRP so anybody can just go into recovery and uh, delete everything on the phone and get to use it uh, unless you forget your password all the time this might be a good uh, option for you uh, which is the rare case that you'd forget your password many you know more than once so go into settings now go all the way to the bottom I can show you that there, there are no accounts in here uh, there are no accounts you can add your own account but we're not gonna do that right now we're gonna go back I've got this connected to my Mac now because I don't need to do anything else uh, so we go all the way to about phone and then we're gonna go software information 
and we're gonna go to build number which is up the top there we are and click a few times on build number to enable developer options go back once more or twice and go to developer options and now OEM unlock you're gonna disable this and press disable it will ask you to factory data reset so let's go and factory data reset once again and uh, once that is done that is it you can just use your phone as it well, it's exactly like it was before you forgot your password it just works it's fantastic the way that this works it's much much uh, it's a much much easier process than than it was before uh, where you had to use FRP bypass and sometimes that didn't work and you had to go all the way and install the combination firmware once again now it's much much easier so instead of making it harder for you to break into the phone um, Samsung or Google have made it much easier for you for a hacker to get into the phone so I sped up this part of the video here uh, on the loading screen and then you'll be able to see I'm not even going to bother putting the password now it should be okay it shouldn't shouldn't need to put the password on it uh, and just skipped all of the things so you can see that there's nothing uh, locked on the device you can just use it like it was before so I guess this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching if you did like this video or if this video helped you please give us a like and consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this I've got a ton more fonts to come but it's just the time free that I've got in order to make these videos because they take quite a bit of time to set up. I need to reset the phone with my account three or four times in order to get the process just right so I can record it. So if you appreciate that please consider subscribing. Subscribing and liking the video is really important to me. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.